Hey, it's Mike here. How are you doing? Today was the day that Breathe Deep was supposed to happen, which is a very sad thought because we're in lockdown again, which isn't the way any of us wanted to start 2021. However, I want to encourage you today to be a light for Christ. We can't meet together, but we can still receive Christ's light as his friends. We can still walk in Christ's light as his followers and we can still reflect Christ's light to those around us. Now on our Breathe Deep website, as well as reliving the last seven years of Breathe Deep events, which I like to do every now and then, there are a couple of pages there to help you to continue to be a light for Christ, someone who shines God's hope, healing and life to others. But how can we do that while we're all stuck at home? Well, a very helpful and effective way to start is to join those of us in the Breathe Deep prayer community. Here we go. You might have done this last year or even the year before at Breathe Deep, but are you still going for it? There are people all over South Yorkshire who are committed to reading their Bible and praying every day, which is what it's all about. Pray the Lord's Prayer pray the Breathe Deep Vision Prayer and pray that more and more people would find hope and healing in God by joining a worshipping community. We have about 90 people already doing this and you would be welcome to join us. This is what discipleship can look like and it can help you to grow and to deepen your faith and relationship with God. When I give some of my precious time reading, thinking, reflecting and praying, I know that I'm in a better place for the day ahead. I'm more ready to be kind to my family and to others that I see, even if it's just people I see online. I feel more peaceful that I'm going the right way in life, God's way. And I can know that time given to God is never wasted. It's better than time spent doing anything else. So you can join us on Facebook or Instagram for a daily Bible verse and to connect with others. My other recommendation for you is to make a personal rule of life. Ta -da! First of all, think about your own strengths and weaknesses. And then decide what you want to start doing and to help you to grow to be a disciple. It could be anything. It could be writing five things that you're thankful for each day or uh, taking on sorting the recycling in your home. It could be being kind to somebody that you don't know or being the first to say sorry or listening to people better. Could be avoiding using plastic wherever you can, saying the Lord's Prayer each day, or, or taking 20 minutes to exercise each day. Could be spending quality time with family members, or even choosing kindness over being right. When you've thought of two or three things that you want to start, why not ask somebody else to help you stick to it? or to work with a friend on your rule of life so that you can support each other. You see, discipleship is about learning and living and keeping going, knowing that Jesus will be with us as we walk. So the Breathe Deep website has these cards which you can download and print for yourself. If you're a youth worker, you can get in touch with me. I can send you some of these pre-printed ones for your youth group. They're great for putting into goodie bags if you're doing that. So here is hoping that we can be back together again next January for Breathe Deep. But in the meantime, look after yourself. Ask help from your youth worker if you're struggling. Join the Breathe Deep prayer community. Make a personal rule of life to help you keep going. Be safe, be brave, be a light for Christ.